Good morning, y'all. So I'm getting ready to go out and run some errands. I'm downstairs getting as we're ready. I just hear something fall in the fireplace. It's a squirrel, y'all. Now, animal control was just out here yesterday. I was at work, but um, Ezra's aunt was here watching her. She's like, something is in your fireplace. The freaking squirrels keep falling through. I just text my landlord, like, you don't have to come cover up this chimney because they keep falling in there. It's two squirrels that run around and play in the backyard, like, every day, all day. But I'm guessing now they're, like, on top of the house instead of just playing on the, because they usually just play in the yard on the fence. Now they're on top of the house and they keep falling in. I'm about to flip y'all around. Yep. I put the, oh yeah, y'all can see it. There's a squirrel right there. I put the Christmas tree in front of it so it does, so the squirrel can't open it and get out. I don't know if you guys can even see the damn squirrel. He was just like right at the front of the glass. Can you guys see it? You guys can't even see it. It's trying to get out. Oh, there it is. There it is. You see it? Look, it's trying to get out. So I had to put the tree in front of it, y'all, because I want the squirrel to get out before. I'm going to the store. I got to get some groceries and stuff. Um, but I don't want the squirrel to get out before I get back and call animal control. So, yeah, it's like trying to get out, y'all. But it's it's like a little shade thing in there. And it's like, yeah, as you guys can see, like this is glass. And then I put the tree right in front of it. So it's like pushed up against it so it can't get out. That squirrel's not strong enough to get through all that stuff. So it'll be in there until animal control comes later on. But y'all, this is literally gonna be my third time calling animal control since I moved here. When I came home from the hospital, there was something in there. I was like, I was so scared. I went to the bathroom and her dad was like, I think it's something in your fireplace. I'm like, what do you mean? Something in my fire? Like, what do you, he's like, I just heard something moving. And I'm like, uh, okay. So he called animal control and they came and it was a bird the first time. Yesterday it was a squirrel and now it's another squirrel. So yeah, but um, and this ain't gonna work for me, honey. So I just text the landlord, like, you don't have to come cover up this chimney. I'm not gonna keep calling animal control every day to get these damn squirrels out of here. Like, it's, it's literally trying to, well, it's trying to get back outside, obviously, but. Ugh, I need to go to the store. I'm like, dang, should I call animal But the thing is, even if I call animal control, they can put the squirrel back out there. It, it can fall right back in there. So it really, y'all, that squirrel is really trying to escape. And Ezra is so mad. She ready to go. All right, we out, y'all. Y'all, I forgot her thing to strap on me, so I had to use the damn cart. Now, I gotta put my groceries in here with her. <laughs> she like, what is going on? It's the first time we ever been to the grocery store. <laughs> Say, what's going on, mama? What's going on? the grocery call you guys all right so this is what we got everything came up to 106 dollars and some change which i think i did good for 106 dollars now my budget was 100 dollars, but i went six dollars over but honey like i feel like we did good all right so let me show you guys what we got so we got apples we got um i needed some sharp cheddar cheese these are for breakfast sandwiches i just got pepper jack instead of regular cheddar cheese i want to try some different add a little spice to the morning okay um baby ezra she over there talking. As soon as I turned the camera on, she wasn't saying nothing, y'all. As soon as I turned the camera on, she started talking. I needed some more cooking. I haven't had cooking spray in so long. I've been using butter. Um, but yeah, cooking spray. We got some cake soaps. I'm gonna show you guys. They had these um frozen pretzels at Aldi, which I'm excited to try. I got this, but I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Probably in some taco meat or something. That looks so good though. I had this before. I think I put in some chili, but I'm gonna get that. Um, the kids love these little fake ice waters they, they do have the ice waters there for a dollar and eight cent at all these but these are 50 cents so you get two for a dollar um but these are the only flavors they have today normally they have like the lemonade type flavor too but they didn't have that today all right um got some tortillas for breakfast burritos and i got english muffins for breakfast sandwiches i got these hawaiian rolls the kids love these there's turkey in the refrigerator and cheese and they better eat it okay with these hawaiian rolls all right i love me some bagels so i got these these are y'all i love getting bagels from all these i haven't been all these in so long bagels only like a dollar and 79 cent versus the four dollars i pay at either wegmans or walmart for my bagels i was so happy okay um but i still got some more of the raisin cinnamon raisin ones so um i just got plain today 
I need some more syrup. The kids like these. I forgot the freaking buns, y'all. So I'm gonna have to go back and get some buns. I got two boxes. We're gonna try this mac and cheese. I'm just gonna add some. That's what I got this for. I'm gonna add some of the cheddar into it, make it taste a little bit better. Some salt, pep not salt, pepper, because um, it's already salty. So pepper into that and some, you know, hopefully it's spicy up a little bit. I don't know. I need some hash browns with the breakfast burritos, fries. Of course, we love fries in this house. Fruit rounds, I'm gonna put these in the other, um, cereal container i'll show you guys later when i fill it up um just these the kids snack on these things um these little pop tart things they love pickles so i got that they had cherry coca-cola they had the minis there for four dollars i'm not sure if that's a good deal i'm not sure how, how much i usually pay for these the minis um but yeah i want to try cherry coke i like cherry dr pepper i don't know if i like cherry coke i need freezer bags for um 30 bags for two dollars and something um for the breakfast burritos and breakfast sandwiches so i needed those i got me some containers so i could start taking my lunches to work um because i just y'all i just don't feel like leaving i don't feel like spending money so yeah um uh, graham crackers i guess it's like the little snack section right here salt vinegar barbecue some we can eat these with the dip we do have sauce on the refrigerator as well and i'm gonna make some nachos um the kids love these I like these in the refrigerator. They're so good when you eat them cold. These are like um, Slim Jims. They have the, I love that they have the turkey ones at all these. These are so good, you guys. So good. I love these. I love, love, love these. These are expensive, though. Um, they're $4 at Aldi. Now, let me know if you guys get these chicken breakfast sausages from anywhere else. Um, but how many comes in here? Two, four, six, seven comes in a pack for $4. I feel like that's so expensive. These are really good, and I get these some once in a while. They're a treat, okay? Um, these are the pretzels that I'm talk, telling you guys about. So these are these were in the freezer section, and I saw these in somebody else's haul on YouTube, and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna have to try those. They were, they were doing a walkthrough at their Aldi's, and they were showing that they had these in their Aldi's. Um, I don't know if they actually bought them, so I don't know. They didn't tell me, say if they were good or not, but I'm about to put some of these in the oven later and have these as a snack with the queso okay um always staple in our house turkey sausage i just make these with like some peppers onions rice and some type of vegetable boom quick dinner turkey bacon as always spinach to go with my salmon yes y'all i've had salmon in so long i think since before i was pregnant because y'all um but yeah i got me some spinach about that blueberry so when i was leaving the blueberry the guy you, they, he scanned my stuff and put my stuff in the cart put the blueberries at the bottom and they had spilled like half the things spilled out y'all i'm so freaking mad but these are only like 169 but that's not the point the point is he spilled half my blueberries i need more coffee so i got coffee um they did they did have this pumpkin spice um almond milk creamer dairy free so i'm so excited about this i don't know how i'm gonna like it so um but if i do like it lactose free um, once I start my vegan journey again on the 1st of February, then I will be purchasing this. Um, they should be marking this down though, because it's pumpkin spice. It's seasonal. There are two something, but they should be going down. They had the, um, Chobani oat milk there, but they were an eggnog flavor and they were 99 cents. So yeah, these definitely should be getting marked down pretty soon. Um, and they expire in April. So yeah, they should be. And then I wanted to, I, I was looking at, they had a pumpkin spice whipped cream too, but I saw this salted caramel and I'm like, Ooh, I'm going to try that on my coffee today. Um, and hopefully I like this too, but this is not dairy free. Um, so yeah, it says this is definitely not dairy free, but I think they had a dairy free one, but yeah, you guys, all tea has all tea, all all right, you guys. And I, did I say blueberries or blackberries? Some more said I said blueberries, but I don't really remember. Blackberries. These are blackberries, you guys. The kids like blackberries. They don't eat blueberries or raspberries, but they love blackberries. All right. Um, and then I did get myself. They had these. What is this? A pint? Yes, they had a pint. Um, they had a whole bunch of different flavors. Oh, I love bluebell. This is like my favorite ice cream, and the banana pudding flavor is my favorite. These are three something at Aldi. Yo, these are so good. I, if you guys have not. See, this is the thing. The only thing I really could not find when I was vegan before was a good ice cream and a good yogurt. So I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to enjoy this, honey. This is about to be so good. I'll probably have this later on, but yes. What is it? Banana ice cream perfectly blended together with whipped topping and vanilla wafers. It's so good, y'all. If y'all have not tried the Bluebell banana pudding. And they have, like I said, all their ice cream is good, but this is my favorite, the banana pudding. 
But yeah, here's the grocery haul. A hundred, well, 106 Zorla's, honey. Okay, first of all, the whipped cream done fell. But y'all, this tastes so good. That's If you guys are all then you guys have the salted caramel whipped cream. So good. I put it, I did, uh, I didn't use the pumpkin spice um, creamer today. I did um, hazelnut creamer. So I did the coffee hazelnut creamer with three teaspoons of sugar that I always do. Um, and then I put this, it was up here, but then I tasted it, the kids tasted it. It's good. They just taste whipped cream. I don't let them drink coffee, okay? <laughs> anyway, then I put these in the air fryer, y'all, and I let them sit in there while I was doing other stuff, and they shrunk. It was, mm, let me taste them. Mmm, mmm. Bomb. And then I just put the cereal. What is this one? Reese's. This chicken sausage. Yeah. Oh, all these are bomb, honey. And I had like two more of these. I, I got one more now. I'm about to eat this. I just put some um cream cheese on it. Oh, I did taste these with the top of the brown strawberry cream cheese. I'm going to try the strawberry cream cheese on my plain bagel and the caramelized on it. I'll let y'all know how that tastes. But yeah, so these are the, if you guys have never seen my cereal dispensers, I got these off of Amazon. Let me know. I will link them down below for you guys if you guys are interested in those. But yeah, I'm about to eat, drink my coffee, and pick up with you guys later.